ask a lot from our bikes. We load them with heavy bags and then ride the crap out of them. And again, no wonder they get up. Maybe it's time for protection. Let's face it, we abuse our frame by attaching bags with Velcro, rubber straps, bungee cords, and even shoestrings. And then add a dusting of road grit, trail muck, summer sweat. You think a good ride in the rain's gonna wash your sins away? Far from it. Just about any modern bike needs some type of protection from us. The end user, or shall I say, the abuser. That's right, all those fun bike packing miles and commuting and chill gravel rides, it all adds up. The evil grit that gets in between your frame and frame bag, well, if left, it'll sand off paint. At worst, it'll destroy a carbon frame in no time. So how do we protect our happy little bikes? If you're new here, I'm Salty Beard, bringing you knowledge and inspiration to get out and have adventures on your bicycle. I found what I was looking for in a small little company out of Thornton, Colorado called Wilderwild, founded by Mike and Amber. Their DIY protection kits come in a variety of patterns in clear gloss and clear matte protection film. The self-healing high impact protection film is thicker than most that I've seen and it comes with a couple of DIY templates for you to cut out the six foot roll so that it fits your bike perfectly. And I've opted to go with the clear matte on my gloss blue frame. Mike also tossed in a small little sample for me of the black marble topographic film pattern to give it a try. Now, let me show you how easy it was to go wrap this. In this handy dandy little container, you'll find a QR code right in the top for a great instruction video, the application tool, and we also call a squeegee, two DIY templates, and a six foot roll of high impact protection film. You'll need a few things like a spray bottle, heat gun, scissors, good pan, ruler, utility knife, soft cloths, and a hole punch, but we'll get to that later. It's important that you start with a very clean bike with no oil on the surface. So make sure you give it a good wash down and then wipe it with a 25% water and 75% rubbing alcohol solution. You'll find this whole process will go smoother if you remove things like your wheels and all the bolts for your water bottles and rack mounts. First thing you have to do is use a little bit of heat to unroll your protective tape. I started by working with the top tube template and trimming it out. And then placing it on my top tube, checking the fit and the length. Remember, there's a logo on this protective film, so think about that when you're cutting out your templates. I transferred the points and lines from my template onto the back of my protective film. I connected the dots with a ruler so that I'd have a nice straight line. As you cut out your protective film, make sure that you round all the corners. To make the notches in the side, this is where I used my hole punch. It makes for a nice, smooth, round inner corner. But all you have to do is just cut out each side. Don't forget to round those corners. Your spray bottle will be filled with a mixture of water and dish soap. It's very important that any time that you're handling the protective film, make sure that your hands are wet or you could leave some fingerprints on your film forever. Spray the adhesive side of your protection tape and also spray your frame. It's very easy to line everything all up while things are wet and then start to apply heat. This will actually activate the adhesive that's underneath. And then start working out all the air bubbles. Always work systematically from one end to the other. With hindsight, I should have probably started with my down tube as it's quite a large area with a gentle surface and easier to learn in my mind, but I unfortunately started with the top tube. 
use your squeegee to really push all the air bubbles out. And if by chance you need to uh, remove some of this, it's easy. Just wipe your hands with some water and you can use a little bit of heat and loosen off the material. I sprayed a little bit of water underneath and I removed an air bubble that was being a bit stubborn. Take your time and methodically go over the entire length of the protection film, working out all the small little air bubbles. You will see some residual white spots underneath, but when everything dries, they disappear. Next, I move to my down tube. Again, fitting the template, making sure that everything all fits up cutting out the notches where I felt I needed them to curve around the down tube, and then transferring the template over to the back of the protection film. Take your time and don't forget to cut all the little sharp corners off to make them nice and round. hole punch does a really nice job in making the notches. You don't need to use all the notches that are on the template, only where you feel that the uh, protection film needs to bend around curves. Always pre-fit your film just to make sure that you have things right. Don't forget to wet your hands before you handle the film. Peel off your backing, spray your film, spray your frame, and line everything back up. And then hit it with some heat. I was surprised how much heat it actually took for this film to bend around sections of the frame. There's no two ways about it. Working around the mounting points is a real pain. Hit it with some extra heat, and then what I did was use an X-Acto knife to trim out the inside of the hole. Next, I moved on to my chain stays, which again, just repeat the process of doing your templates, cutting out your film and applying with heat, really concentrating on the edges with heat and pressure with your squeegee. I then worked on my forks, which was just a nice little section that I decided to put on, a little bit of trimming, a little bit of measuring and lining up, and then heat and application. And then later I went over with my X-Acto knife just to cut out the mounting holes on the fork. My down tube was actually a little bit more convoluted as it had some flare to it and it had a cutout that I needed to make for where my front derailleur would normally go. So just take your time, fit your stencil, make sure you've done it properly. Again, the hole punch was a great little trick. Remember the old adage of measure twice and cut once? Well, take your time. Make sure that you've got everything set up just right. Here's the cutout for my front derailleur mount. I was happy on how easy this was to cut out and customize to my frame. I wanted to have a little protection on my seat stays, so I just measured the uh, diameter of adequate coverage that I needed. My seat stays have actually got two different curves, so I kind of got the uh, protection film stuck in the middle and then really pulled on it as I heated it and curved it around, and it worked really well. your time to get all the air bubbles out and really seal the edges with some heat and some pressure. I used a rectangular portion of material to go around the front of my head tube and then I took the time to make my own templates to go around the back of my head tube to protect it from straps. 
This took a few tries to get it just right, but once I got them all made up in a left and a right, I transferred it over to my protective film. And don't forget to make those corners nice and round. With something this complex, it's best to take your time and pre-fit everything to make sure it's just right before you get into the application process. I found it real easy to slide the protective film around on the frame, lining things up. And then a little bit of heat and it activates the adhesive on the back. I did find that when I first finished this job, there was a little bit of adhesive material and residue that was on the edge of the templates, but given a little bit of time and a little bit of use, they all disappeared. And there you have it. That's all it took to wrap it up. It's time to put everything back onto your bike and get it ready to go out riding. Well, I've got about 4,000 kilometers now on this bike and taking it out bike packing with bags hanging off of it and all the grit and grime from commuting, I'm really happy with how this protective film is holding up. So if you're looking for some protection for your frame and want something a little semi-custom, check out Wilderwild. You won't be disappointed with the ability to make your own semi-custom DIY wrap. Don't forget to like and subscribe and then check out this link right here where you can find exclusive Salty Bear discount codes and places to find stuff for bikepacking, camping, cooking and much more. So the next time you need to buy a little something, go here first. It's the easiest way to help me create content at no cost to you. Until next time, be safe, have fun. Later.